Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Black Forest Suicidal. Not my favorite map, but it is what the random picked, and it is what we play. The mission is underway. I uh, went to visit my grandparents today. It was rather uneventful. Um, I, I think I think he forgot that I visited him two weeks ago, so he, he feels like it's been quite a while since I last visited him. Um, so, if you wanted to see me again, that's fine. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to go visit anyway, right? Like, I don't, I don't need a reason to go visit my grandparents. Um, but, uh, well, I need I need a reason to go visit my, my grandmother on my father's side because she lives very, very far away, and it's not very uh, financially viable to go and visit somebody living that far away. But on my mother's side, they live, like, just down the road, so I don't really need a reason to go visit them, you know? But, uh... Yeah, nothing exciting. He's not dying or anything and, and needing to tell me his final words. <laughs> Which is, uh, is typically what my mind rushes to when somebody's like, I need you to come see me. I'm like, oh no, what are you going to say? What's what's the worst thing that you could possibly be telling me? It's probably that. That's probably what you're going to be saying. Um, but uh, my sister drove me there because I don't have a house key at the moment, which is uh, highly unfortunate. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. Um, but it gets in, it's, it's a problem sometimes when I have to go out, but I have to get one made. I might see if I can borrow somebody's key this weekend and go make a couple copies for me. A couple. I want to see about getting my own, like, key copier, you know? I want, you know what? He heck it, dude. Um, key maker. Amazon. Can I, like, buy a key cutting machine for, like, a couple hundred bucks or something? Yeah, you totally can. <laughs> you totally can. It's totally a thing. Now, what are the laws regarding uh, key cutting machines and uh, tools and stuff like that? It's probably classified under like locksmithing um, hardware, right? I'd imagine. I don't know. Some sometimes laws get hello. Sometimes laws are weird with uh, with some stuff. I might, I might just buy my own, because, I mean, it's like, you know, you go and you buy, like, a $10 key. How many $10 keys have you bought? All right, now, well, here's the other thing, right, is you have to buy the, the blanks, too, right? So what's what's the difference in cost between a key blank and, okay. House key blank. Um, difference in cost is, uh... At least on Amazon, <laughs> they're they're quite a bit more expensive. Um, house key blank for sale. eBay. Uncut key blanks. One and a half pounds of uncut key blanks for fifteen bucks. Yeah, so the the difference in cost is probably like pretty okay. Uh, probably have to worry about like the metal types and stuff like that when you're doing like key cuts and stuff like that. But you know, okay, so so you you, you say like a buck for a key blank, which uh, on my Google search seems seems pretty reasonable, honestly. Uh, also, just from like the material cost associated with it and like the simplicity of a of a key, like that like that's probably not very hard to make, especially when it's made out of like a, a pretty soft metal. Um, you could probably like press them, honestly. They're, they're, they're probably pretty easy to mass produce for, for whatever fab's making them. So I, I don't imagine there's, there's much justification to make. And, uh, and they're easy to ship, too, is the other thing, right? So you can make, like, you know, a few thousand of them and then ship it to somebody. But, uh, yeah, okay, so let's say we get the, uh, you know, a thousand of them or whatever it was. How many was it? One and a half pounds of uh, miscellaneous key blanks. Two pounds of key blanks, about the same price. Yeah, about uh, you're looking at like probably probably about a yeah about a dollar for a blank, about a dollar for a blank. And then the rest of the cost that you get at the store is uh, so also you translate that dollar into Canadian, and uh, it's probably like two twenty or something like that. Well, no dollar dollar to like maybe dollar thirty. Dollar forty or something like that for for Canadian dollars here, because I'm going to be using Canadian dollars for the the cost of, of going to a store. 
and buying a, a cut key. Typically about seven bucks. Last time I went for for a uh, a key cut, and uh, my God, um, so you end up saving on the uh, on the key itself on the on the raw material. You end up saving uh, like six dollars. You end up you end up saving six dollars on just the material alone, right? So that's that's the difference in, in cost between making your own and uh, buying one is six dollars. Now, the machine itself is five hundred dollars. How many keys have you gotten cut in your life, and how many keys do you think you're gonna get cut in your life? Hundred. It's probably worth buying a stupid machine then, right? Now, how hard is it to to operate? I don't know. Probably not that hard. Can't imagine it to be that hard. Like it, it keys have been around for so long. It's it's probably a pretty streamlined process to uh, to grind out a, a key blank to, to whatever shape you need it to be in. You just put the key thingy in, and then like I've seen people do it, and they just basically like pull down the the lever, right? Now is that the same one that we'd be buying on Amazon or whatever? Probably, maybe I don't know. But I can't can't imagine it'd be that challenging to to grind out a key blank. To to your to your you know to copy a key over to your to your house key you know so it might might be financially uh, you know responsible to buy it. now the other thing is is if we're if we're looking at this on a uh, on a lifetime basis here right with uh, you know 100 keys in your lifetime getting copied which honestly sounds like kind of a small amount um, but it's you know assuming you are. Um, you're, you're assuming that that machine's gonna last for your lifetime as well, right? And is it? I don't know. Do they do they last for the next like 60 years? You know, from now until when I die? I don't know. Maybe. It it is a grinding thing, right? So there there is some semblance of wear and tear on the machine. I'm sure you probably have to buy replacement parts every now and then on the uh, on the part that actually does the cutting. And then you also have to worry about like cleaning it up. I mean, there's a reason why you pay that premium, right? Not much of a premium. And that's the other thing; it's not that expensive either. I think it would just be a cool thing to have. And then also, you know, you could you could save your friends some money, right? I mean, that's worth something on its own. And you can't you can't uh, you can't understate or you can't. Uh, what's the word? Shouldn't you shouldn't undermine the value of being able to to be that person who can help your friends it's out, like right? Because there, there's value in that. Just just being somebody who can like, oh yeah, I can do that for you, you know. Not just from a uh, looking like a total cool person kind of perspective, but from a uh, just like being a nice person perspective. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice to to help your friends out and, and and save them a buck every now and then or whatever. Especially if you, you're buying like the bulk keys, you know, it's like whatever, it's like a dollar. Who cares? I, I just take the key, dude. <laughs> it's fine. I have more keys than I'm going to need in my life. It's fine, you know? It's kind of my perspective on it. Maybe, maybe I should buy this machine. I won't. Absolutely not. I'm, I'll probably look into it, though. I, uh, I almost definitely won't actually buy a, a key copying machine because. I mean, A, I don't know the laws regarding them. Um, again, sometimes you have some weird laws with. Uh... It's okay. It's okay. You'll 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 escape eventually. Tracer. Sometimes you have weird laws regarding this kind of stuff. Any, anything involving locks typically has some uh, some interesting laws for it. Um. It's typically like super. You're not allowed this kind of thing. Like uh, locksmith or uh, lock picking tools are, are typically illegal. Um, like any, anything like that is typically just illegal to have because it's like you know. But I guess the reason is because like why would you need that? Why do you need a lock picking set? You know, like why why under what circumstances are you going to use that? You know, 
Like, how, how often have you been out there and been like, ah, you know what I need right now? A locksmithing set, you know? Like, or lock picking set. Like, yeah. Um. Flesh pants. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, with, with the key copy machine, it's kind of different, right? Where it's, it's not, you can't really question why you need it. You're like, well, I need to copy keys. I mean, nobody's going to question that, right? But, you know, you don't, you don't know. You don't know. I did, it could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised either way. See ya. I'm out. <laughs> I didn't decide that I'm out, but I have been forcefully evicted. My house is being fumigated currently. I am not allowed inside. Okay, it's done. Uh, so I don't know. I'll probably look into it just because... Uh, I mean, it'd be cool to have, right? Either way, I have to go get a lock made. I have to, have to get a key made because uh, I can't get into my house when I'm outside of it sometimes. And that's a problem. So I want to be able to go out when I want. You know, I want to be able to leave my house and, and uh, have that freedom. I don't get it right now, because I kind of have to, whenever I'm going out, like, Hey, uh, anybody got a spare key I can take? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, eh. Not really kind of the... The sort of thing that I'm looking for as, as a 25-year-old uh, tenant, you know? It's not really it's not really the lifestyle that I wanted to be living at this point. I mean, there's a lot of things that are happening with my life that aren't really exactly what I was kind of hoping to be doing with my life at this point but you know you, you live and you keep living more and life gives you lemons eat some lemons a lot of people a lot of people a lot of people there are people out there who say there are those who say that uh, if you eat if you eat a lemon you're doing it for attention there are many people who say that uh you know, anybody who eats a lemon is just doing it because they want the attention of being like, ooh, look at me, I'm eating a lemon, you know? Like, yeah, I could eat a lemon too, it's just not a good experience because it's a lemon, you know? A lot of, a lot of people out there who believe this, a lot of people out there who think this way, and um, I'll have you know that as a as a lemon eater, it's not, uh, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who's going to, like, eat a lemon like an orange, you know? I know, I know some people who would. Um, because they like lemons. They taste good. Um, but I would definitely, I'd definitely eat a lemon slice, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with a, a good old lemon slice. With, uh, with dinner or something like that. It's a nice, nice little, like, sweet, sourish, kind of tangy thing, you know? It's, it's a, it's a nice taste. Truly is, truly is. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But many people will say that I am a faker. That I am an attention-seeking kind of person. And it's just true. But that's not why I'm eating the lemon. These aren't uh, mutually exclusive. Ah, lives up my water bottles a little bit. Rough. I mean, it's rough anyway when my water bottle's full. I've talked about it before because it's like a dang heavy thing. But uh, it's particularly bad now. My arm being a little bit sore. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like lemons. Lemons taste good. You guys ever eaten a lemon? Like just, just like eating the lemon? Cause I have, and it tastes good. It is sour. If you don't like sour things, you're not gonna like it. You know, like it, it is sour. But, but the thing is, is that a lot of people, myself included, enjoy sour flavors. It's like, it's like spiciness. You know, like there are a lot of people out there who are like, yeah, I don't like spicy food. Like I don't, you, you put spicy food in front of me, and I won't eat it because I don't like it. It's not, it's not edible. And uh, it's kind of the same way with uh, with um, sour things. You know, like there are people who don't like sour things, and I think that uh, more people like spicy things than like people who like sour things. But I, the, the, the people are there, you know? There's no reason to say that uh, somebody can't, like, an, enjoy a lemon. Because uh, lemon tastes nice. It's nice and sour. Kind of gives you a little kick, you know? Kind of gives you a little kick. It's nice. I appreciate it. I appreciate its existence in this world. 
I don't need medical attention. I want to shut up the trader. She, she's just annoying. You know, can I? Can I? Can I? Can we? Is that is that a thing that we can do? We're actually coming up on 20 now, even. Uh, audio. No. I'm trying to think of uh, what would these be? Dialogue volume, probably. But I like I like hearing my character be annoying. I just don't like hearing the trader be annoying because she does just the dumbest stuff, you know. Have you checked your ammo? No. I'm not using this weapon anymore, you stinking piece of garbage. I took my sock off and I left it on top of my spare computer case. And I'm trying to get it out of there. Alright, success. Yeet! Yeet! Yeet them socks over to the door. Just yeet them. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. We're out of here. When the when the RNG di uh, dictates that we play Black Forest, then Black Forest we play. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of it, but oh, anyway, we we're at my grandparents' house today. My uh, my grandparents on my mother's side. And before we went, my sister drove me because um, we we're both going over there. Because I mean, in my opinion. Uh, if one of us is going and the other one has time, then then really like both of us should go, cause like, why not? Um, and you know sometimes sometimes you don't have time, that's okay. But uh, we both had time today, so why not, right? I personally have a lot of trouble going by myself, so I, I tend to to rely on uh, somebody else being there with me anyway. And then my parents, I can't talk around, so it kind of makes it hard for uh, for me to go with them, but. Um, no, bad. Uh, so we, we, my sister called before we went over just, just to make sure that they were like, you know, okay to, to have people come over. They weren't going to be, you know, we weren't going to walk in on them naked or something, right? Make sure that they were, uh, okay with having visitors. They, like, 99% of the time are, but, you know, give, give people a heads up before you show up at their house, right? Don't just show up and be like, hey, we're doing something now, and it's like, I didn't really want to. Um, you know, at least give them the, the opportunity to make an excuse that sounds reasonable, right? Even if it's not true. Oh god. Oh god. You know what? We're just gonna die, and that's okay. Um, so anyway, we called before we went over, my sister said, uh, so this is how the conversation went, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it verbatim. So she, she dialed the number, my uh, grandfather picked up the phone, and uh, it went, went a little bit like this. Can I come over? Sure! Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. And then that was that was it. That was, that was the conversation. Um, and uh, you might notice how there was no identifying uh, details in that. How, uh, you know, nobody, at no point in time did my sister refer to herself as being who she is, you know? It was just, can I come over? And, uh, you know, in the, in the days of, uh, caller ID and all that, you don't really need to these days, but, um, so anyway, we got there, and my grandfather says that, uh, he had, uh, gotten a call from our mother. Who was saying that she was going to be over soon? And we're like, oh, hey, what a coincidence! You know, we're we're both going to end up here at the same time. Uh, and like, a probably a half an hour goes by, and we're still talking about it every now and then. We're like, she said she'd be here in a few minutes. Like, you know, was, maybe we should like check on her, make sure she's not like in an accident or something like that. You know? Then it it dawned on me at some point. I'm like, maybe maybe he thought. I'm talking to my sister. I'm like, maybe he thought you were mom. <laughs> so uh, we end up like trying to, to debug the situation, you know, uh, going over exactly how the conversation went, and uh, we're like, yep, that was that was that was us. So it was it was like a half an hour of uh, of, of worrying about uh, the mother being okay, and then. Uh, Realizing that nope, she just had no idea that she was volunteered to be showing up here anyway. So it was uh, it was kind of funny. 
it's like a half an hour of like worrying and stressing and like you can see my grandfather getting like visibly worried about it um, and uh, it was definitely concerning because we thought that my mother was supposed to be coming over in a few minutes and like she wasn't here and we're like what the heck's going on um, then uh, it just turns out that it's just because my sister didn't provide any identifying information in the phone call and uh, my sister and my mother, on, especially on a phone, sound sound quite similar. Or can't sound quite similar at times. Um, they can sound very, very the same. So, we've, uh, we've, we've learned, I suppose, or at least she has, that... Uh, Always say who you are on the phone, you know? Always say who you are. And and my grandfather has learned to always ask who they are. Because, uh... Yeah. I don't know, it was just a kind of a funny thing. It's important It's important when you're on a phone call, though, to, to always tell people who you are. You you forget it these days with the, with caller and ID and all that, you know? Where you don't really have to... That was an excellent shot, by the way, but I can't take credit for it. As you can see... By me not thinking that I made it and then shooting again. Um, yeah, you always gotta identify yourself when you're picking up the phone, you know? Either on uh, on the, the calling end or the receiving end. You gotta, you gotta identify yourself and say who you are and, and uh, you know, make sure that people know who they're talking to. Because, I mean, even, even with caller ID, you might not have noticed before you picked up the phone who it was. Your, your, your phone might not necessarily... My god. Okay phone might not be one of those that lets you or it might, it might not be the easiest thing in the world to to get color especially when you, you, you know, your phone might be coming up as private or whatever I mean there's there's like a, a billion reasons why it's important to identify yourself when you when you when you call somebody right it's important to do and uh, we, we learned that today it was genuinely like a half an hour of uh, panicky about what the heck's happened to my mother um, I wasn't worried, because I figured that uh, my mother just had a bad sense of time and, and was going to be stopping by eventually, or forgot, or something, you know? Like, she's, she's gone this long without dying, she's probably not going to do it today. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was kind of funny. We watched AFV, America's Funniest Videos, um, while we were there. They, they always watch the... They're, they're the typical old people, you know, they, they, they watch uh, AFU and all that. I like AFU, I think that it's funny. Uh, they, they have a lot of, like, similar things these days on TV. They're not the same. They're not the same. It really was, uh, I forget what his name is, the, the, the dude that hosted it. It really was him running the show, you know, like, he's the one that made it great. All these other people try and do the same thing, but they just, they go way overboard, and it feels like, you know, I'm watching, like, Logan Paul or something. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Um... But they also have on their TV this like massive like these these massive black bars on all sides of the content. So I'm assuming that their uh, their overscan setting is just or their their scan. I forget what the setting is called. Um, but uh, yeah, they they, they 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 definitely have that whatever it's called the overscan or something like that. Uh, they definitely have that set. Very wrong because they're these giant black bars. And I'm just like I just you know. They don't care. I don't think most of the people coming over are noticing it. I just I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I don't want to bring it into their lives to. At least not today, because like they're already stressed out about stuff. And I'm like I just whatever. They're having fun. They're watching it. They're have, they don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> some some things, you know, as much as it might bother you personally, you gotta kind of. You gotta kind of think about like you know okay yeah it bothers you but does it bother them enough for you to like take over their controller and then like mess with it and and do you want to have to deal with with um because the other thing is is when you touch somebody's stuff and you change any setting on it from that point on you are solely responsible for any problems that uh, that device has ever for the hist for 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 eternity. Like you are, you are solely responsible for everything that happens to it now. As soon as soon as you touch it, and I'm just like, yeah. They they don't really seem to be that bothered by it. 
I, I just... You know, they, they, they probably don't even know it's there. You know what I mean? But uh, it was it was definitely bothering me while I was there. So at some point in time, I might uh, I might fix it if if if, if we're there and they're not uh, panicked about my mother being dead or something. We might uh, we might fix it. But it, it was definitely these like massive bars all around it, which is uh, you know classic overscan or whatever. I forget. I, I think that that it, that it is overscan, but the setting is called like scan or something like that. I can't remember. It's like it's like the zoom levels basically. Um, TV oftentimes, or at least before, I don't know if it still does, but it would like store data about the the show outside of what the TV was showing. So if you're watching like a 1080p stream, the content, like the the video stream that you might be getting, might be like you know 1090 pixels tall, and then the 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 TV just cuts off those 10 pixels, and then it just stores information there that the TV uses to show like what show you're watching and like information about it and blah 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 so that the TV can get all that information um, without having to have like figure out some other way to do it. You just send it in the signal and then cut it down, right? Like it's simple. Simple you know keep it simple, stupid, right? So um, that's why if you're ever playing like a, a video game or something like that on uh, on a TV, you might notice that it like cuts off the edges. It's it's because those edges are being used for the TV stuff to, to show um, whatever. So I they, they they probably have the scan setting or whatever set to be way too zoomed in or whatever, or zoomed out or something, I don't know, but uh, next time I go over, I might fix it. I didn't want to do it today because I already stressed out and stuff, and, and again, I just, is it worth it? I don't know. Next time, I'll probably think it's worth it. Because <laughs> uh, it is like a small picture, you know? I mean, it's a big TV, so even the, the shrink down thing is still pretty big. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like, subscribe to some more of the future comments if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. I had to close it because I don't want to wait for KF2 to, like, load up the map before I can Anyway, bye.